Okay, now that we have our tires textured, we're going to go ahead and texture um, the one part of our rims, and we're going to go ahead and also texture the nipple on the rims, which is for the air to be put in the tire, and also we're going to go ahead and texture our glass. Now, the windshield glass is going to be a little bit more specific because if you take a look at any car, you know, whether it be a realistic car or a CG car, you want to have and try to get at least a little bit of a blue tint for the windshield because automotive glass is very specific whenever it comes to the windshield versus the side windows and say the back windows. So let's go ahead and get started and we're going to go ahead and texture our rims <coughs> and we're going to do this simply we'll go ahead and open up our hyper shade and I'll bring it over here and we're going to be using a V-Ray material since we are going to be rendering with V-Ray and we're just simply going to go ahead and bring in a file node here for the color which is just a specific orange and that would be this and I'm then going to go ahead and break the connections here on the diffuse color okay and this is just so that I can go ahead and sample the color for the V-Ray material here from the orange swatch I'll go ahead and delete those Okay, and I want to make the the rims reflective, but I don't want to make them so reflective that it's sort of like an orangish chrome. Um, I really want to try to keep it more of a a plastic. We can turn the reflection color up to white, but the amount of reflection that's actually going to be in the layer has to be very low. So we're going to turn this down to say I'm not going to use you know a real specific number here or put in a real specific number. I'm just basically adjusting the slider here until I think it's going to be good enough to give us a little bit of reflection but not an extreme amount of reflection. So let's go ahead and apply this to the main portion of the rims here. And I want to try to match the the car body color um, just a little bit off maybe which is probably going to be our best bet. So let's go ahead and maybe just try to adjust this off of the car paint shader and make it a little bit lighter, which is probably going to be our best bet here. Well, you know what, I'll just go back and switch to the orange and I'll just darken it up a little bit and that should be okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a chrome material here for the wheel nipples and this is just going to be a V-Ray material that I'm going to turn slightly black and keep the reflection pretty high. Um, one's going to be a little bit too high and this is just to simulate chrome a little bit so we'll just call this uh, wheel wheel nipples there and we'll just go ahead and apply this I'm not going to make the inside portion of the rim the same color as the uh, the outside because I'm going to make those like a gold texture gold shader so we'll go ahead and apply those clear that off of the workspace and now we're going to go ahead and make the glass for our windows and like I said, this has to be somewhat specific and somewhat different. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize this and try and move this out of the way a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm going to do here. And we'll call this uh, first one the windshield glass. And we'll call this other one side glass go into the attribute editor here and the diffuse color here isn't really going to affect the overall color of the window glass that's going to be driven by the ref refraction color and the amount of refraction there is going to be one so let's go up here and we're just going to keep the diffuse color gray and the main port that's really important here is the reflection color so we're going to turn this up to white but we don't want the glass to be that reflective. We want it to be um, 
some re reflect if not a whole lot. We really want to try to make automotive glass. Okay, so let's get under the refraction color here and let's make it a blue and go into your HSV which is your hue, saturation and value level and we're going to turn the saturation down uh, and I'm just adjusting there's no real specific um, number I'm going to be putting in here either 0 0.101 should be should be good enough we'll go ahead and apply that and we're just going to use the same process for the side glass here but instead of uh, I'll just show you here. Let me go ahead and make the reflection down to about the same as the other one here. And instead of actually coloring the refraction, we aren't going to color it. We're just going to leave it specifically white. And that's going to be good. So we'll go ahead and apply those. Let me close that so that you guys can actually see me select the model por portions here. And we'll go ahead and apply that. And I want to go ahead and uh, for our four ways here, we need to go ahead and UV map these. So let's go ahead and into our planar mapping, and it's going to be in the z-axis. And we're going to do the same here for the passenger side. Let's just repeat the tool. Okay, and I'll select them both. Go into the UV editor here. And just scale them a little bit and then scale them down a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and make another V-Ray material for these and we'll go up to the diffuse color here and we're going to plug a file node in and this is going to be our yellow lens and this is so if you know whoever's driving the car breaks down we can actually turn on four ways to be flashing and we want to try to make this as accurate as possible so we'll go ahead and apply this to the front and we're actually going to apply it to the bottom ones on the back too and I'm going to reselect the material turn the reflection color up to white turn it down to say 0.117 and I'm gonna turn the refraction color to white as well but the refraction is not gonna be that much so I want it to be something like uh, say 0.131 well we can actually go ahead and look at what our side here is and that is 0.220 so we'll just use the same and I'm going to go ahead and apply a normal map in it as well so we can capture the detail we'll turn this down to something like 0.2 and there we have all those placed and applied and I want to go ahead and make one more glass material so I can then apply it to the pr front part of the the fog lights and this is going to be a little bit different too and I want to sort of make these a little bit maybe orangish or red to try and match the body of the car so the same process again turn the reflection all the way up 0.117 for the amount of reflection the refraction color I'm going to turn orange Okay, and you can see where it's like sort of red. And I'm going to turn that down. Turn that down here. Turn that to white. Turn it back to orange. And just turn the saturation 
down a good amount. I mean, I don't want to turn it down too much because I still want it to be somewhat orange. Or you can you know, use another type of blue or you could use a, like a fluorescent green. But I really want to go with the orange. I'll just go ahead and turn the saturation down a good amount there. And we'll go ahead and apply that. Rename it. And there is our window shading rims and our four ways.